Uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, family all around the world. Uh, this is the 133rd episode of Tone Stakes. It's going to be really quick because for once, uh, there is not a lot of crazy news happening that I really wanted to talk about today. It is Mother's Day after all, so I think everyone around the world, or at least in the U.S., was just like, hey, let's respect our mamas and not do anything stupid. Uh, but... I did want to turn my attention first to Indonesia because um, they are suffering from what is perhaps one of the most uh, deadliest terrorist attacks since like the Bali bombings, which happened in early the early 2000s, um, where basically a family of terrorists went in and just attacked three Indonesian churches and uh, the, the second largest city in that country. So again, my, my, my heart goes out to the folks of, and the families um, that were affected in Indonesia. Apparently, um, seven people died, including uh, six of the family members, the youngest of whom were girls aged 9 and 12. Um, and then there were another 41 people injured. And Indonesia's president basically con get, condemned the attacks uh, as barbaric. So um, thoughts and prayers go out to the people of Indonesia. Again, this was another... Um, attack that was probably uh, ISIS related Indonesia is um, one of the most populous Muslim nations in the world so again it's like ISIS state they don't care they're just attacking wh wherever they can basically um, without any recourse um, but what I do want to focus on today is uh, if you haven't heard um, recently uh, the move that um, the US is making where we are going to move the embassy to uh, Jerusalem. Um, yes, the, the embassy, um, the U.S. embassy that is in, uh, I, I guess you could say, uh, the Israel area. There's a lot of, dis there's been a lot of discussion and disputes about it, um, mainly in terms of, you know, what do Palestinians want? What do Israelis want? And there's a lot of back and forth. There's been a lot of war and anger and aggression ab about it. And it, it's all coming to a head tomorrow. So I think we'll all be kind of focused on it tomorrow. Uh, Monday um, is the opening of the U.S. Embassy in contested Jerusalem. It's being chaired by Israelis as historic validation um, after they've pretty much been independent for like the past 51 years. Um, but it's seen as Palestinians as an in-your-face affirmation um, of pro-Israel bias by President Donald Trump and a new blow to dreams of statehood. So my, my fuzzy history of the U.S. As, as, as it is, I mean, we've always been supporters of um, what, what many would call the Zionist regime of Israel. Um, most Western nations are since the Crusades, going back to the Crusades. That was, you know, a, a Christian move to reclaim Israel, mainly for Christians, but we more or less eventually sided with the Jews. Um, Christianity is also more closely related to Judaism. We basically look at the same texts as our sacred texts. So we've always been pro-Israel, um, even back to Barack Obama. Um, he may not have been as hard-lined, but we really had a promise to Israel since their formation that we would recognize them as a state. So I'm not sure how this changes anything um, now that we're actually moving the embassy there. Um, so this festive inauguration helps harden President uh, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's rejection of Washington as a future mediator in the conflict with Israel, um, likely ushering in a prolonged period of diplomatic vacuum in which other powers are unwilling or unable to step up as brokers. And again, if you don't know yet, it, this has been going on since... This has been going on since the beginning of time, pretty much. Since Abraham first slept with Hagar um, and gave birth to a son, Ishmael, and then later on gave birth to another son with his 99-year-old wife, Sarah, um, when they gave birth to uh, Isaac. I mean, many people believe Ishmael was the founder of what would be the, the, the tribes, the, the, the Arab tribes and, and the Muslims, and Isaac, of course, being the, the Israel, the, the, the tribe of Israel and things like that. So this is like, this is older than the, the Korean <laughs> conflict. This is, this is the oldest conflict ever in existence. And to even start to suggest that one president or even two presidents, three presidents, whatever, is going to somehow figure this out is is just ridiculous in my mind. And so what Trump is basically doing is he's solidifying 
um, his ties with Israel. And to me, I don't see a big deal with that. The Palestinians are going to, you know, hoop and holler all they want, but it, nothing's changed over the past 60 years. There's been literally a stalemate um, between Palestine and Israel. A lot of it happened after, um, of course, the World War II, where a lot of the Jews that were being um, attacked and, and killed by Adolf Hitler were, were pretty much given a piece of land carved out um, in that area. And, and a lot of Palestinians were angry because that was their land. And, and there's just so much history there that I wish I could cover, but I'm not going to try and cover it all today. But we will see what, what happens, basically. Tomorrow is, is the big day when, when everything opens up. Um, again, there's, there's just a lot of pushback from from the Palestinians and with with, with good reason. Um, there's, there's been a boost in the border force there. So I will be keeping my eyes on this throughout the day. Um, but let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, is the U.S. right in moving our embassy there? Is it going to backfire on us in any way? I mean, as you can see, there's there's been a lot more, um, how, how can you say, um, sporadic um, terrorist attacks, uh, whether it be France or, or in the U.S., um, van attacks, uh, knife attacks, you, you name it. It just seems like uh, the, the, the radical um, I I Islamists are really not that fond of what the U.S. is doing and what other countries are doing or their lack of what they're doing. And they're really starting to be more emboldened, um, attacking people all over the place. Um, and, and we've also seen recently with uh, President Trump backing out of that Iran deal. Um, if, if you didn't see videos of basically the I Iran parliament pretty much saying death to America, there's a lot of stuff that we are doing um, to enrage um, people of, uh, uh, of um, the, the Muslim or the Islam faith. And uh, I, I don't know what to tell you all, but hey, wars are rumors of wars, and you can take it um, from there take it however you want to. But that's all I've got to talk about today. Um, again, happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers, um, uh, maybe soon to be mothers, um, wish to be mothers. Um, if you've got uh, ovaries and, and eggs, happy Mother's Day to you. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow. Peace out.